Torah has your day been? Today is the 4th of July, so Saturday night, 4th of July, uh, Independence Day, so happy Independence Day to all American Germans out there. Probably not celebrating it uh, like you guys normally do. Um, yeah. Fourth of July is actually a semi celebration for me, you could say. Um, I celebrate uh, work anniversary on the fourth of July, so I've been working for the same company for nine years. Um, my supervisor. Uh, she turned around this morning she says oh happy nine year anniversary and it's like yeah okay <laughs> 10 years is the big one um, I will say before I worked for the company I'm working for now I used to average a new company or a new job every 18 months that used to be my average so nine years is pretty impressive for me <laughs> Uh, so I'm on day two of day shift. I have one more day shift to go and then I have two nights. I will say after having 21 days off, I was shattered last night. So when I came home, I didn't do anything except, well, Nathan cooked dinner and I basically died on the couch. I will though, however, insert somewhere in here. Hello, buddy. <laughs> you were snoring, mate. You were snoring. Big time. <laughs> Don't we get the light out of your face? <laughs> get the light out of your face. You're snoring, old man. <laughs> there goes the huff. You got a heart. Look at all your cushions. Look at all your cushions. You blend in with the brown couch, but not with all your cushions. Boo. This light annoying you. Why lie down and go to sleep? Go to sleep, buddy. Look at that mush. <laughs> you want the lights out, don't you? See? What have you done? You've had a lazy day today. Nobody's been at home to disturb you. 
go back to sleep. You're huffing because the light's on you. Yeah. camera on your face. Okay. No noise. So that was Bo snoring. So I was on the lounge, on the couch, on the lounge, kind of semi-dozing and then I've realised that this one is just snoring his head off. It's adorable. It is adorable, but still. <laughs> when it actually disturbs you, it's not good. <laughs> Poor Bo. For those of you uh, that have um, only recently joined my channel, Bo is my uh, four-legged fur baby. Four-legged fur baby. And uh, a very, very, very wrinkly sharp eh? And he is... Uh, he's nearly 10 year old so he's doing well he's doing well for his age um but anyway i think i want to have a chat with some of the uh, comments that i've got here because uh yeah all well, well, i've kind of shattered yesterday so i didn't do a whip and chat so i'll uh, have a chat with the comments and uh, go from there um <clears throat> yeah, so I will go to my last video, which was actually only the it was a pretty neat creative unboxing. Um, tell you what, we're all loving the postal system at the moment, aren't we? The way this stuff takes so long to get there. Okay, so we have our. Uh, Diamond, diamond painting with Dreamer. <laughs> she feels me. She's got one stuck in custom, and a custom from Pretty Neat, and customs got sent back by customs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. I will say. Even the speedy freight companies, i.e. <clears throat> uh, DHL and. And and um, oh, I'm not. FedEx um, are suffering delays for from well, I'm suffering for delays with them. However, I will say, FedEx, I was supposed to receive a package Monday, the 29th of July. So it landed in Sydney on the 28th of July, but because we're in Western Australia and our borders are shut down, everything, most of the stuff coming into us into Western Australia is having to come by truck, which is uh, basically, what is 3,000 kilometres plus away from uh, Sydney we are. DHL though on a different matter. So FedEx seems to send everything international to Sydney first and then from Sydney onwards. Whereas DHL will actually send to Perth, which is the capital of West Australia. So there might be a delay, a bit of a delay with something, but it won't be anywhere near as long as FedEx. FedEx doesn't recognise uh, Western Australia as being a part of uh, Australia. <laughs> I don't know. Just my, my joke about that one. Um, but yeah, and Elizabeth Adams got several customs in the USA that have been there since the 1st of June. Mine are clearing customs. Mine are clearing customs quick. It's just they have to travel by road. But yeah, Anna thinks it's a beautiful painting. Love the colours and checked out the site. Some cute paintings. Bit pricey, bit on the pricey side. Actually, I need to do a comparison between websites. I don't actually, sorry guys, I don't actually admit to looking at prices or deliberately ignoring prices. I just see something and, and go, yep, this what I want. Uh, might have to do just a comparison to see difference in prices. Um, yeah. 
Uh, Mary Ann, it's been looking at this image for a while now. I love the colours. Too concerned about the low number. If if did purchase it to be a smaller size and seeing it as a large size, I don't think the, it will work as a smaller size. Yeah, I don't know. It might think it might be okay. Might be okay. Ooh, but I'll wait and see. Haven't even haven't even kitted that one up yet, so we'll wait and see. Uh, okay, so yeah, keep an eye out for when I do kit that one up because that's when we're going to see a little bit more, a little bit closer, more, a bit more detail. Then we're on to <clears throat> next comment that I haven't responded to on where I completed the um, Jeremiah Morelli and it's just uh, Cheryl saying it turned out beautifully, which oh yes it did. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, then the next one, okay, Anna Dion, which is talk about the, the live resin pour. So it's a few people missed out on actually being at that live. Um, I tell you what, I do like doing, it's very daunting to do a live resin pour because what can go wrong? And the side of it where I get there and I get engrossed in what I'm doing and I don't look at chat now for you guys you don't actually get there's not much chatter happening and I think that's because one you're looking up and watching what I'm doing but you're also um, obviously working on whatever it is you're working on so um, it does get a bit daunting where it's like I get there and worry about what I'm going to talk about what I'm going to say as I work Three things, um, but then I realise that well, it's just the natural process, and sometimes you just can't talk. Oh uh, yeah, but Anna's looked at um, looked up bubble tea. It doesn't sound very appealing, so I actually just in the Wikipedia I looked at it. Bubble tea is a tea-based drink invented in Taiwan during the late nineteen eighties which is shaken with ice to create the bubbles to foamy layer at the top of the drink with chewy tobacco, chewy tapioca balls are added as well. I'm still going to, I'm going to have to have one just to find out. I don't know. I'll soon find out. Find out one day what they're like. Now the shops are open, yeah. Okay, and then short whip and chat and i did uh, 30th of june so four five days ago something like that um i had <laughs> mindy's gone all puppies need a blankie now and then <laughs> uh, buy all colored up cuddle under the blanket um yeah lots of videos to come still well when you uh, yeah i was supposed to do some editing last night and obviously the couch was a lot more appealing last night for me when I finished work, so yeah. And uh, sorry she could make the live. And Brittany, excited to see a whipping chat. And I know Brittany's hanging for me to get out the blank custom and work on that. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I am going to be scheduling that in to get working on it because I need to dedicate a uh, fair amount of time on that and I need to actually push myself to get that done. So, uh, sorry, I've got a TV going very loudly in the background. Okay, so that's it for just the comments. Nice short little amount of comments. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah. Do you know when you take leave and you come back to work and it's like, oh, I wonder what's changed? <laughs> hmm. I got back to work on Friday to find my supervisor is moving to another mall. Um, my supervisor of her is, above her is going to another company and the supervisor above him is moving to another role. So there's a few changes happening <laughs> within the company. <laughs> so yeah, you get there and it's like, yep, we've got changes. Oh, hang on a sec. 
I, uh, I don't know whether the sound came through, but uh, TV in the dining room was still on and uh, Ghostbusters is on and it was getting a bit, uh, a bit loud. Um, yeah, so all these bosses that are just leaving left, right and centre, it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, the team stayed the same, it's just all the supervisors above. So um, we now reach the uh, end of the financial year. Uh, company scorecard is out, so we know how the company good, how the company did, and how it could affect our bonuses and whether we get pay increases and all that. So um, that was announced. Uh, the company scorecard. I have my meeting with my supervisor, and she seems to be happy with me, but won't know fully. Um, the financial recognition for my work <laughs> until September. So um, yeah, our financial year ends in June, end of June, but uh, bonuses for us are paid in September. So hang in for that, that happened now. Uh, tax time has come around, end of the financial year, yep, tax time again. Uh, hopefully this year I won't get a tax bill. Alrighty-ho, so what else is going on? Oh jeez, I've lost track of what I've ordered to come in. <laughs> uh, however, it's not resin and it's not diamond painting. <laughs> So I've been told the subscriptions that I got organised, one was for the uh, a Japan product called Inku. Um, apparently that's been shipped. Uh, Sophie and Toffee subscription box for July has been shipped, which is succulents. Uh, what else? I'm still waiting on my March Sophie and Toffee box, which is the wire art. Um, still waiting for my planner, plus two other orders that I made in relation to um, that planner. So I ordered three, I've done three orders through Erin Condren, and um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Still waiting for them to come. Two have shipped. One is in Australia, uh, which is supposed to reach me early in the week, so probably Monday, Tuesday. Fingers crossed. Uh, the other one, my last, my second second order with them was tracking. Had it in Honolulu, <laughs> so it will probably be in Australia tomorrow. Be in Sydney tomorrow. Hang on, just doing a quick check for any more ends. Nope, can't see any. Um, I discovered without realising it though, that one of the things I've looked at is stickers and where one of the companies that I ordered stickers from was actually from Western Australia. So they got there, they got here really quick. I've got some cute little stickers there. Uh, um, but yeah, that's what else have I got? I did actually. I did do an order with Sophie and so Sophie and Toffee from their website. I did do that. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens with that. And there's an end I missed. Right there. Um, yeah. So just waiting on. So that's Sophie and Toffee, and I think I've ordered some stickers from everywhere, some a few other places, but I'll just, I've lost track, so I have to stop ordering. Um, you guys have heard me mention the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I will say Diamond Shop is at unboxing or reverse boxing of the, they just did 277. Keep an eye out for the uh, Diamond Shop 280. 
they do a um, they do at the end of their videos tend to say who's in the next order and the next neck order and the next 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 order and mine is that my custom is in unboxing 280 so if you're actually at this stage 280 is if you want to see uh, what I have ordered from Diamond Shop um, it is a custom and that is the custom one of the four that I will give choice to the 1000 subscriber giveaway so I know I keep saying I'm going to do it I'm going to do it but the big thing for me is I want to do it I'm going to do what I should say but I can only at this stage show you three of the four choices so I'd like to be able to actually say this is all four you can choose from uh, so that's that's why I kind of keep putting it off because I know I'm waiting for that one from Diamond Shop so if you keep an eye out when I actually unbox Diamond Shop so if you actually see the Diamond Shop unboxing and it will be done in July so it won't be too far away sometime this month um, when you see that one that will be the one with the details of the uh, how they went to the competition so yeah uh, that's I think that's the best way to do it is through that one considering what I am offering as a prize is that one choice of the three others that I have um, but yeah we'll get there we'll get there um, what else are we go, going on I think that's about it I'm already at the stage of I want to go to bed <laughs> uh, I know I've got to stay up a bit later now I've just got I can't go to bed yet it's only 20 past 8 at night if I go to bed now I'm just going to toss and turn and I haven't done and painted for a few days so chill chill drill and chill uh, put this video together and put it out so that you guys can see it and I'll actually type some responses to those comments um, so yeah guys tell me what you what you're working on at the moment anything exciting what do you think of Bo he's getting old poor buddy um, I'm actually I think because it's winter I'm noticing I'm noticing at what seems to be like age creeping into him now. Um, hopefully it's just my imagination. But yeah, um, I'll uh, say that that's about it. We'll say, James, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you uh, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I'm one of the gems that joins me on a little journey of different craft things that I keep trying and some that I like and some that go, yeah, no, not continuing on with that. And you will also be aware that I do walk along at the end of my videos when I'm saying goodbye because I suddenly think I've got stuff to add to it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll talk to you gems later. Have a good night and uh, bye for now.